Hi everyone, I am from Real Time Signals Technologies. Today I am going to give you a brief idea about automation testing using Selenium and how to test web applications using Selenium tool. Any application or product that is developed needs to be tested thoroughly before delivering it to the client or the end user either using manual testing or automation testing. Testing the software without using any tool is called manual testing and it consumes more time and human resources. Compared with automation testing, it is more fast, reliable, repeatable, reusable and hence testing the software is done with the help of a tool called Selenium. Selenium is a popular test automation tool which helps in automating the testing of any web application. In real-time signals technologies, we provide the following topics along with testing a live project on application. First, we start with the Selenium components and architecture of web driver. Then, we proceed to what is web elements and how to locate the web elements using different locators and then how to do cross-browser testing and creating test scripts in WebDriver by converting the manual test cases into automation scripts and then we move on with the test ng framework where we explore the test ng features, its reporting, the approaches it supports and sending the reports via mail and creating log files and finally with the integration of Jenkins and Maven all these entire course content will be covered in 30 hours of duration along with the live examples on real-time applications. Now let us see the Selenium components. Selenium is a suite of software tools to automate web browser. It is a open source software used for functional and regressional testing. It supports various operating environments to create and execute the test cases. Selenium IDE It is a plugin that mostly works on Firefox and Chrome browser and it is mainly used to create a prototype and execute those test cases. The drawback of IDE is it doesn't support programming and doesn't support data driven testing with detailed test reports. Selenium RC It is now outdated and not much used. Selenium Grid It is used to execute the test cases across multiple browsers, OS and computers in parallel. The main drawback of Grid is it doesn't support test case design and only used for execution. WebDriver It is the main interface used for testing various browsers on different operating system that supports data driven testing with cross browser testing, batch testing and parallel test execution with the help of test ng framework. So now let us discuss the workflow of selenium. The test scripts in selenium can be written in different programming languages like java, python, c hash, php, ruby, perl over these different languages anyone can be used. So for each selenium command a HTTP request is getting created and sent to the browser driver. The browser driver uses a HTTP server for getting these requests and determines which command to be implemented. These implementation steps are executed on a browser. So this is the workflow of selenium. Selenium can be compared with other tools like QTP and RFT where Selenium is an open source and the other two tools need to be purchased for licenses. The cost of Selenium since open source is very less compared to the other tools. Providing the support for the tool, it is an open source community for Selenium whereas for the other tools we get dedicated support. When we wanted to do testing 
scripts using selenium we need to have good technical capabilities whereas it is not that much required for qtp and comparing the environmental support with other tools selenium provides better support to windows linux and solaris as well as the language support of selenium is better when compared to the other tools the advantages of selenium are it provides direct interaction with the browser and the browser may be anything like chrome firefox ie safari opera and others and it is very faster to execute when compared to the other selenium components and it has very easy and stable api commands it provides parallel test execution running on different os and provide support for other frameworks like testng n unit and j unit considering the disadvantages of selenium it supports only web applications and not much reporting facility is available and limited support for image based testing now let us see how web driver works web driver is a interface which extends search context interface and this web driver interface is implemented in other specific driver classes like chrome driver firefox driver internet explorer driver safari driver etc this web driver has many abstract methods like get close quit window handle window handles find element find elements and also it has some nested interfaces like window navigation and timeouts now let us see how to set up the selenium software in our laptops or in our desktop the following three softwares are the prerequisites to begin using selenium first you need java a programming language that is used for writing the scripts and then we need the eclipse uh, environment that is used for compiling and running the scripts and finally you need the selenium a framework that is used for testing the application since java and selenium is open source it is easy to download and install the other additional jar files like selenium testng jxl apache poi can be installed to improve the performance of automation the basics of web driver classes starts first with the web driver methods these web driver methods will tell us the api provided by selenium web driver we have many web driver methods to automate the web application selenium provide huge number of methods to interact with the browser to automate the applications each method has its own use first you can see the get method which is used to open the current url in a browser and the close and quit is used for closing the current instance of the browser the find element and find elements are used for locating the elements on a browser whereas switch to is used for switching between the interfaces or for popups or for alerts we can use it the navigate is used for navigating between the browsers or pages in the current browser and get title get current url page source are used for getting some useful information from the current loaded page the get window handle is used for returning opac handle id for the current browser and get window handles return a set of window handle ids for let us now see the web element web element represents html element like text box button drop down box list box radio button check button etc all interesting operations on these elements can be performed through the web element methods the web element methods commonly used are send keys which is used to send some values to the particular text box or a particular value that needs to be displayed inside the text box the click is a method which is applied on the web element button to do some action on the form and the clear is used to clear the web element text that appears on the screen 
is selected is displayed is enabled are mostly used on the drop down box and list box web elements and get text used to return the text value on the particular web element and get attribute is used to return a particular attribute value for the web element and there are many more web elements which will be covered in the basics of selenium sessions the locators for web element is another important thing that is used to identify the various elements on the web using these locators without locators identifying the various elements on the web is impossible selenium provides us with locators like id name class name tag name link text partial link text css and xpath all these locators helps us to locate a particular element on the given web page and we can also use some firefox plugins like firepath or firebug or we can also use crowpath on the chrome browser for locating these elements once the basic sessions are covered then we will also proceed to how to automate selenium on web tables frames how to switch between multiple windows how to handle popups javascript alerts handling date pickers and scrolling page on a given application generate reports for logger files and then executing the batch scripts and then executing only the failed test cases sending them via mail and taking a screenshot all these things also leads us to automate the web application here let us take an example of how we can generate an automation test script for flipkart application with the scenario for login search and logout the manual test case for this would be to open your firefox browser then enter the url for the flipkart then you will try to enter the email id its password and click on the login button after the login is done we wanted to enter the search text as mobile and click on the search icon then we will try to do a mouse hover on the my account and click on logout let me just briefly walk down you on the given script first and foremost here we are trying to create a object for the web driver using the firefox driver class once the driver object is created we are using the get method to get the current url flipkart inside our browser and after that we are trying to maximize the current focused browser window once it is maximized i am trying to send the find element using find element method i am trying to use the locator as xpath with the web element method send keys to send the username for the flipkart account then i try to enter the password for it then i try to do the click on the button this three steps will do the test case called login part then when you wanted to do the test case for search i have just done the searching of element for mobile and then i have created an object for the actions class where i'll be able to handle the mouse hover action over it and then finally we locate the logout ka option and then i try to click the logout so by doing all these things we have converted our test case into entirely automation script after completing the course at real time signals you will be able to do the following you will be able to generate test scripts in selenium for any web application on any test scenarios you will be able to perform cross browser testing on running the same test case across multiple browsers you will be able to convert any manual test case to automation scripts then you will be able to understand and develop the scripts based on different approaches like keyword driven or data driven or pom driven approaches then you can also schedule your test scripts using jenkins and you will be able to send the emailable report to the managers and log files within the team future market of selenium would be all experts in it industry agree that whatever product is developed needs to be tested over here in manual testing this has to be done manually without using tools but when we go for automation testing we can use selenium and this test automation helps 
mainly in the scenarios where we wanted to test with a large amount of data or when we wanted to test a common functionality across multiple applications or when we wanted to use the te same test case for cross browser testing we use this automation testing here you can see the pay scale for the entry level software tester many freshers who wanted to build a career in it opt for software testing as a stepping stone even if you plan to switch to software development in the later stage of your career it is always a good idea to start as a software tester and being a fresher with a combination of java manual testing and selenium will give you an edge over the other fresher applicants also experienced manual testers can update their profile with automation testing to move ahead how to reach us it's easy just take your phone and call us on 9740992552 or send an email to info@realtimesig.com or visit our website at www.realtimesig.com if you want to talk to the trainers you can directly come to the btm office or marthahalli office at the given address you can also take online demo or take online sessions by giving a call on the same number thank you